Happy Saturday! Oh man, I can't get over that intro. Welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons. One of the Saturday boys is here with us. That's Nick of the Found Footage Festival. The other Shaddy boy, Joe, has COVID. I'm George, the tow hitch on their tricked out Winnebago of irreverence. And we're here today with Josh Schaefer of Lunch Meat VHS. What's up? Thanks for having me. Yeah. Look at Josh. There he is, Lunch Meat, one of our favorite uh, VHS based empires. Zine <laughs> re releases. Oh, it's too kind. It. Yeah, we do a lot of VH stuff. That's for sure, man. And something tells me you've seen Toxic Avenger before, maybe even the cartoon. Uh, I am familiar, very. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. So that's right. Today we're going to be watching an episode of the early 90s Toxic Crusaders cartoon, another in our long line of inappropriately appropriated movies for adults turned into toys and tune franchises for kids. Like Rambo and Robocop, it's an animated series inspired by a film kids couldn't see on their own, at least not in theaters. But let's be real, any kid in the 80s could find their way into an R-rated movie, unless they waited for it on cable or video so they could be permanently warped in the privacy of their own home. Before we watch the tune, let's talk cereals and mugs. What's everybody got? Josh? Yeah, I'll go first. This is a KitchenAid Red Bull that I found in my buddy's house. Uh, I'm staying with a buddy uh, here out in Iowa, uh, one of my colleagues, Tyler, uh, amazing guy. So he's letting me use this KitchenAid bowl. And what's in it? What's in it? Reese's Puffs bats, dude. Have you seen yes. these yet? Not in person. Those look incredible. They... I... <sighs> graphic They're design great. is amazing. I know. Look at the back, dude. Just That's, like it's like buying a haunted house with your <laughs> with your breakfast. Yeah, it's like I feel like I could put my hand through it, but the like, bats yeah. are exploding through it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. that is uh, that's your incredible. Buds. To catch one. Doing some fun stuff. I like uh, I like the Halloween edition there. Yeah, and you know what? I saw these. I went out into the grocery store a couple times this week because you know I'm visiting. So sometimes like, oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So I was trying to be prepared and. I did buy another box this year before I saw those. And yeah. I bought Golden Grams. This is the real deal for me. Oh, and yeah. This is one of my favorites with the retro recipe. Absolutely delicious. Favorite since I was a kid. Always a go-to. Yeah, that's top tier. You don't you don't mess around with Golden Grams. And top tier for me is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I got some news for you, fellas. They got a rare miss for me. Um <laughs> Here is a box that I think feeds a family of 10. It feeds just the 10 of us. It's the <laughs> giant size Cinemoji Toast Crunch available at uh, Targets. And look at it. So it looked kind of cool. They printed emojis and also tacked on a luchador theme. Square oh, off with excellent. luchador Cinemojis. I, hadn't, then, I haven't seen this yet. Yeah. yeah, and you get a, a luchador Cinemoji mask on the back there, which I'll be cutting out and wearing. But so I, I had high hopes, but then here's the ball, and I can't see, I can't make out any emoji on a single crunch piece. We're going Can a little you? fast. Hold on. I'm trying to be generous here. Like, there's some ink on this. But... Oh, sure. That's uh, that's the masked, uh, <laughs> the masked blob. But seriously, like, there isn't one. Like, you'd think if they were going to make the claim that there's emojis on their cereal, they would, like, get the cereal printing technology a little better, but uh, it still tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and, you know, you're going to get what you deserve there. But look at that. I mean, that's supposed to have a luchador face on it, and there's nothing going on. So and that, that's limited edition, right? Limited, yeah. Oh, so that's the thing. If everybody just buys one box and they're disappointed, they don't have to worry about somebody buying another box. Oh, wait, wait. Breaking news. I think there's an eye. Can you see... Is that like an eye uh, right there? I'd love to see that square off against the uh, 
the faceless blob case. <laughs> yeah, here's a your swirl breakfast bowl. and yeah, two Ooh. things going on. Top ropes. Oh, well, they're dead well, now, so it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> they faced off in my mouth, and I won. So right, thumbs back up for for Cinemoji Toast Crunch. I have a real mug for once. This is an '80s goofy mug. This is a uh, a mug that says "To Bean or Not to Bean" that you would get um, as part of a little gift basket filled with jelly beans. <laughs> okay, so the Toxic Crusaders was a 13 episode environmental superhero horror cartoon. I'm not sure how many of those there were, but it first aired in 1990. It's based on the uh, 1980s cult classic movie, The Toxic Avenger. Um, and I don't know that it lent itself to a cartoon immediately. Here's the original mid 80s trailer. Meet little Melvin. He's a 90 pound weakling. Everyone hated Melvin. Yeah, I'm gonna take this mop and shove it down your throat. They teased him. I identify him. Do it with you. Okay. They taunted him. They tormented him until he had a horrifying accident and fell into a vat of nuclear waste. Transforming little Melvin into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Melvin became the Toxic Avenger. The first superhero born out of nuclear waste. Holy shit! He crushes drug pushers. Nice sound up. Yeah. It's a pretty good cut, kill. Smashes hit and run drivers. I cut this down a little bit. For incredible explosive action, you must see. The Toxic Avenger is coming to your town. Look out. How do you not go see that movie? Josh, you've seen a lot of horror movies. Have you ever seen a kill with the the weight thing going into somebody? Mm. Is there a Nightmare on Elm Street where he like broke, turned into a cockroach or something? Was there a? So I was just about to say that. Yeah, good one. Oh, George, oh. You know, she tur- he she's working out. No pain, no gain. <laughs> and then she turns into a cockroach. <laughs> Is there anything in Death Spa? I mean, it seems like, you know, but that particular kill, pretty good for a... Killer workout would also be a good one. I can't remember one, though. It's a good way because you're you're surrounded by heavy weights in a gym. It is an excellent kill, though. I've used it in uh, mixtapes, so... So, The Toxic Avenger spawned three sequels. Um, I don't know that they are as well regarded (laughs) as the original, but they... they, um, I would say they have stood the test of time. The Toxic Avenger is a known piece of intellectual property. Um, it also became a musical. The classic story of the Beauty and the Beast. He's a hero who fights for the safety of New Jersey. And of course, it is now uh, getting the remake treatment. I believe it's debuting at Fantastic Fest with Nick. We're going to I mean, try not, to see it over the weekend. You're, yeah, you're going to meet Peter Dinklage, who is apparently taking the role now. Um, the, it, it, the images are embargoed, so this is all that I think anybody's seen of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be the world premiere, so we'll see. Hopefully it's good. Right, and so the franchise had to extend to cartoons. I, I can't can't talk about Troma without talking about Lloyd Kaufman. Um, he is the uh, co-founder, the producer of the movie. Uh, Toxie, the, the Toxic Avenger, is his uh, mascot. Order your Troma trailer tape today and receive as a special bonus a high-quality adhesive back I Love Toxie sticker. I think this is a production office somewhere in the New York area. Oh, guess what? I looked it up. It's in Long Island City. It's okay. probably like within five blocks of where I'm recording this right now. Okay, well, so we're going to hit pause. Nick's going to go over. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, okay. I do want to see it now. The voice of the Toxic Avenger is Roger Bumpus. He does both uh, the lead character and Dr. Killamoff, the villain. The cartoon was written by Chuck Lorre, who's known for, what, every sitcom of the last 20 years? The, uh, the Big Bang Theory, Two and a Half Men, everything on CBS, I think. Dharma and Greg. Uh, let's not forget about Dharma and Greg. I never do. Tox Crusaders spawn video games for three platforms. There were comic books, lunch boxes. Halloween costumes, cards, muscles, ripoffs, a travel game, that's for Nick. Ooh, travel game. And finally, a color form playset, which is how you know you've made it. 
this was like my prime cartoon watching era. I mean, maybe a little late. I was a freshman in high school in 91, 90, but I still would have watched this. I don't know why this escaped my radar. Um, Josh, did you watch the cartoon? Yes, for sure. Um, okay. Love that cartoon. Uh, I had the action figures, right? And, you know, like, because you're at the mercy of the Saturday morning programming, so you couldn't always watch it, right? wasn't on demand. I didn't have the videos. Um, so the action figures hold a lot of memories for this. Like the Toxic Crusaders action figures were so amazing. They're so cool. Still some of my tops ever made by Playmates. Same people that made Ninja Turtles. Um, and well, like watch the commercial for that, um, for oh, that toy line. The action figures. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah awesome. It's Dr. Killamoff, the evil alien who wants to pollute the whole world. He's going to smogify every tree in Traumaville. But look who's going to stop him. It's Toxie, the trendy yet hideously deformed leader of the Toxic Crusaders. How trendy. does he do it? He's toxic but tasteful. This grime fighter really comes up with the works with his ever faithful mom. They're gross, but they're going to clean up the world. Toxic Crusaders. Hideously deformed action figures and toxic waste, each sold separately from Playmates. <laughs> Did you have any gooey toys? Toys like that, Nick. I don't. I don't remember having any. I, maybe I wasn't permitted to have gross toys. My friend had the slime pit from He Man. Welcome to the slime pit. The what? Slime? Yes, my slime will overpower you. I've been slime. You'd have to like wash off because it would just get crusted on there. The slime mm. would. Yeah. Nothing says toy like crust. Did you have the slime squirting mop? Uh, action figure, Josh? No, I had No Zone, uh, Junkyard, which is the dog, I believe. But I did also have slime toys too. Also, I would just buy slime and pour it on my action figures. <laughs> yeah, you could. I didn't need to come with slime. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Attention, the slime pits are overflowing when you buy any two Masters of the Universe figures. Get a free can of slime. The 90s was the decade of slime. No one will argue that. It's in the yeah, history. Absolutely. Books. But one, one thing I wanted to say is like these these action figures really took me into the world when I wasn't watching the the cartoon, you know, and it kind of expanded that, that universe. And you felt like you were in the cartoon sometimes, you know, so it was really cool. I think the fact that this cartoon seems to be actually good helps with that. Like we, we often rail against the crass commercialism. Like the only reason the cartoon exists is to sell action figures. I don't get the impression with this, but yeah, that hasn't been brought up. The, the fact that, Hey, if you're not watching He-Man on a Saturday, you get to make your own cartoons by playing with the figures. I guess that's pretty cool. Yeah. Did you have a good yard to play in or a good area to, to you know, that was always the problem was I'd have my action figures and like the couch didn't look like Hoth or anything. Right. The kids, right. In, so you know, I the kids in the commercials had like lived at the Grand Canyon and could, mm -hmm. you know, set everything up. Absolutely. I, I had a great yard. Um, there was dirt hills everywhere and, no oh, grass man. and the woods and um but i played with action figures i had the uh i'll tell you what i put all of my action figures in the wwf ring once i got it everybody became a wrestler so that nice. was kind of my favorite place to yeah it's a spin-off that needs to happen i, I would just I would, now yes. that we're combining intellectual property all right let's watch the tune yeah Part let's one. do it let's do Toxic it crusaders season one episode one and have you seen this before george i had not seen it before uh okay. cut it me either. Okay. First time. Let's watch. Toxic Crusaders, Toxic Crusaders. I had no friends, no girls that helped me till I got radioactive ugly. Toxic Crusaders, Toxic Crusaders. A lot of hair metal intros in this cartoon. Really giving it his all, that, that vocal. It kind of sounds like Kate Sweet Ninja Turtle. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> well, listen to this solo. I mean, this is this song gets stuck in your head. I think Toxic Crusaders is one of the hardest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sitting on top of the world. With my mom, Tutu, and girl. Wow! Toxic Crusaders. Toxic Crusaders. Yes. Pumped. Good there he is. morning, Tough Island Vinny. This is radio station WOPU. 
Reminding everyone we've got a Stage 87 smog alert, so wear your gas mask. And remember, don't get caught outside during an acid rainstorm. It's a horrible way Touch to go. Avenger took place in your Jersey, I right? Love yeah. This song. Yeah. Or at least you you tuned in. I, love this I had that. Now, Josh, you're from New Jersey, and I had that stereotype of like New Jersey, which is like, oh, pollution, and like, and everyone's basically thinking of like a very small area of Newark. Which services New York City? Sort of, yeah. Has yeah. the factories and the you know those post-apocalyptic looking Joker chemical factories and yeah, but, not where I'm from. So I feel like, and I think some people would agree with me that North Jersey and South Jersey, two different states, right? Just yeah, totally different. Yeah. What's that? I mean, it's the Garden State. Like when I moved to New York and started exploring New Jersey, I was like, "Oh man, I love this! I love this state." It's not at all like the stereotypes of the '80s were. Who's got beaches and lakes, historical places, campsites and parks, a day at the races? New Jersey's got it. So I'm from South Jersey, so it's all like preserved farmland, right? Like in well, in like suburbs and stuff like that. But it's very like you know green. And actually, there is a road adopted by the toxic avenger like like the highway cleanup there. what's that like the, the highway cleanup uh, adopt a highway kind of yep. thing adopt a highway it's adopted oh. by the toxic avenger and it's right outside of a nuclear power plant oh yes nice i gotta go see it because you own it because it's the most polluted city in the world and i dr kilomoff made it that way behold my evil genius. Grossolium, the deadliest toxic waste known to man. Stop it in the worst good name. polluted city in New Jersey. Grossolium. Dromaville. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Doc. What if some complete and hopeless nerd falls into the Grossolium and transforms into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength? Don't be ridiculous! A Fantastic voice. It's a little bit of a Ron oh, I wish I wasn't a complete and whole. It's Michael J. Pollard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know well your identified. toxic crusader uh, and, and you know your voiceovers. How would people know uh, Michael J. Pollard? Uh, Ooh, Sleepway Camp 3? <laughs> okay. Sleepway <laughs> Camp 3. <laughs> no, or... He's a huge character actor, yeah. yeah or Bonnie so. and Clyde, where he got a nomination for an Academy Award. So either, either ah. one of those... Okay. Uh, Did he yeah. get an Academy Award nom? Dang. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's excellent though. Yeah. I'm looking him up now. From New Jersey. <laughs> it's authentic. Uh, died in 2019 in L.A. In a way, we right. all died in 2019 in L.A. Yeah, that's true. Hopeless yeah. nerd. Maybe then I'd have a girlfriend who loves me for who I am, or at least confuses me with someone else. Hey, Bimbet. Look at Melvin Junko. What a complete and hopeless nerd. Yeah, gog me with a rake. Let's Melvin's work a out. Nuclear pee <laughs> How about if we have some fun with old Melvin and show everybody what a bogus geek he is? <laughs> That's a deaf idea, Bonehead. What's the plan? Don't like cool bullies have better things to do than like do elaborate you think he's pranks on nerds? To fall for it? Yeah. They don't. Never mind. Yeah, I'll catch you later, babe. Hi, Melvin. You look really, really cute today. I do? Oh, yeah. In fact, I think it's time I dumped Scuzzy Old Bonehead. It's and a little dating late a really to be doing the Valley Girl like thing. You. 91. You do? Yeah. Would I lie? She is so, nailing it now. Tonight, huh? It's good. Well, at 7 o'clock, I practice burping. At 8, I wax my chicken. Then from 9 to 10, I like to smell my armpits. Uh, uh, uh. How about if you Is waxing the chicken the a euphemism, do you think? And we get to know each other better. Uh, you no think they got away mean. with one there? No. Yeah. And I'll be there. Great. Oh, would you also do me one big favor? You want to hear me burp? No. I want you to wear a special outfit on our day tonight. A tutu? Oh, gee, I don't know. Please, Melvy. It would mean so much to little Bimbad if big, handsome Melvy well be would a cute widow tutu. All right, I have a crush on Bimbad. Uh, it's the cruelty, right? That's that's <laughs> that's part of it. That's yeah. Mean girls, man. Mean girls. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, the skull is awesome. And the skull airing. Yeah, it's the it's a complete package. Absolutely. All right, cruelty reinforces one's self loathing. So that's what you look for. Sure. Here. Yep. You On this it. episode of Saturday Morning Psychoanalysis. <laughs> <laughs>
If it means so much to you. <laughs> you sure you don't want to hear me burp? What a moron. That's pretty cool. I hope Invent thinks I look okay for our date. Pink isn't really my color. I hope my mop doesn't clash. <laughs> that animation cell has to be somewhere. Yeah. Yoo-hoo! Been bad! I'm ready! Been bad? Bimbo is already the feminine version of the word, right? Right. It doesn't have to be an N. Punks and aerobics instructors coming together to fully melt. I just have a strangest feeling I made a mistake sending that Rosolium to Tromaville. A complete and hopeless nerd? Nah. <laughs> Funny, so it's got a postmodern. Oh, I've got a big problem. Been My here. new home. Oh well, I guess it isn't so bad. Look at the bright side. How many people have a home that glows in the dark? I like how quickly he's adapting. Yeah. Well, hi, little fella. Why, you're a cute little blob. Call you Gordy. What will I call you? I know. How about Blobby? <laughs> Well, Blobby, here's where I will live my life, all alone, with no one to love or care for me but you. Hey, what's that beautiful sound? This is weird. Something bad is happening nearby. I can feel it in my body. Somebody help me, please! Let go of my accordion! Now I'm sure somebody's hurting an accordion. <laughs> Hey, you punks, leave that girl alone. Oh, look, fellas, it's Melvin the Mop Boy. Your days of picking on nerds and accordion players are over, Bonehead. <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> this will teach you to mess with a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. <laughs> I like the repetition. <laughs> it's a bucket of acid Man. rain. What's happening to me? I better get out of here! Feel lucky, punk? Not really, no. Are you okay? Fine, thanks to you. I did lose my contact lenses, so I can't see too good. Gosh, you're very handsome. Boy, this really is my lucky day. Wow. Yeah! So initial thoughts. Thumbs up so for me. Good. Yeah. So good. I mean, I was this critical of so good. I was critical of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I'm 100% on board with Toxic. <laughs> What's this called? Toxic Crusaders? Toxic yes. Crusaders, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, there's just so much talent on here. Like, it's like the the, the voice acting is excellent. Like you said, the, the comedy is sharp. It's written really well. I mean, most cartoons, when you watch them later on in life, like, they're for kids. You know, and I feel like this one is really still enjoyable watching it now. So, I mean, like, it's it's nice. It kind of felt, I was telling George this before, but it kind of felt like the Beetlejuice cartoon a little bit, where mm -hmm. it was... Another like, excellent cartoon, yeah. Yeah, where it sort of, like, was acknowledging that it's a cartoon and not talking down to the kids as much. So, yeah, I, I like it. Thumbs up. It's when Saturday morning became self-aware. Mm -hmm. This was part of the 1990s, early 90s... Uh, environmental revival and there were a lot of other toys and psas of this era that um captured the zeitgeist captured the zeitgeist is that like uh is that that's a nick pruerism like um the cultural yeah. touchstone of our generation right so. that's what that's it so i'm glad to hear that these captured the zeitgeist George. <laughs> saturday morning cartoons will be right back Wait a minute. 
right? I wish this was a, a half hour cartoon. Yikes. I'm sorry, did that say 2000 AD? Um, <laughs> like fish uh, are dead? <laughs> uh, yep. 6 million BC. Keep going. Yeah, that's every fish has its own um, uh, tombstone. Yeah, it's on gravestone, yeah. yeah. Very expensive. Now you can have your own special Captain Planet adventure with your favorite planeteers. There's Wheeler, who has the power of fire, and the daring Linka with the power of wind. You can even use the planeteer's eco-cycle. And your own power rings will let you call Captain Planet. Okay. Bring him to the rescue and save the Earth. clad older man. <laughs> Oddly Captain visits Planet you and your friend. Planeteers, now available at Kmart. By the way, I know people have asked, why haven't we watched a Captain Planet episode yet? Uh, I think we're going to. There's an episode that somebody sent me where he fights Hitler. And right. I feel like that has to be a Shatterday episode. So, well, I yeah, think I mean, I don't remember that one, but wow. <laughs> I think there's a rights issue for Captain Planet episodes because I've been ah. in contact by, with uh, David Colburn, who is the voice of Captain Planet. Oh. And he really wants to do it, but uh, oh, I can't find on, any full us? episodes on it, it. They seem to get taken down pretty quick. Yeah, but he also did a voice on pole position. I'm trying to convince him that that's enough of a reason to join. He's not convinced. All right. We'll, we'll get Captain Planet one way or another. Yeah. All right. Run scored. Now we're behind again. I quit. <laughs> I can't see a thing. There's too much pollution out there. I quit too, Charlie Brown. It's no fun out there in all this smog. It's your fault, Blockhead. If you've lost Linus, you've lost America. <laughs> now I'm losing games because of pollution. Don't let pollution ruin your game or your life. Oh, poor Chuck. Oh, no. I don't endangered species. <laughs> to pollute the environment, Cobra unleashes the septic tank and evil eco warriors. <laughs> but the Joes have eco warriors too. I'll take it, Joe. The septic tank and eco warriors have powerful water guns, and when hit, they change color to reveal battle damage. My suit's corroding. Oh, Wait the color on. changing technology. <laughs> it's like they're all Zartan. Joe and Cobra color change eco warriors and septic tanks sold separately. I've only begun to mess around. <laughs> It's pathetic, the air that we've been breathing today. Blind Straight choice. up, man, we can't live in a world this way. I mean, people just littering. They must be on some mission. Fresh we got to right? do it since yeah. the adults won't listen. Send in your pollution solutions and receive a free poster. <laughs> Write Pollution Solutions, P.O. Box 96090, Washington, D.C., 20090. And that was how many 14-year-olds were able to solve the environmental woes that we would have suffered with today. Casey Kasem, too, with yeah. his uh, long-distance dedication to the environment there, I guess. But... Nothing but talent. Now back to Saturday Morning Cartoons. Let's watch the uh, the business end of Toxic Crusaders, episode one. Yvonne. Gee, that's a pretty name. Thanks. It means pretty girl who walks in sunlight or big messy places. I forget which. So what did I call you? Well, I used to be called Melvin. But now that I've had a small accident with toxic chemicals, I think I need a new name. <gasps> how about if I call you chemicals or messy chemicals or Bucky Ted? Or how about... Toxy. That's it. So you can call me Toxy. Green and orange means... Uh-oh. I'm toxic, getting that right? weird feeling again. Something evil is happening, and it's happening real close. Help! Bad guys are gonna destroy our orange! So they can build a poisonous chemical plant. Hmm. Where could <laughs> That's that what he be? shouted while being. Huh? Hey, it's got a lot of to destroy that yeah, yeah. orphanage. That's not right. It's the exposition. And my mop is alive. Hot. I bet that happened when it fell into the toxic chemicals with me. Okay, mop. Let's you oh, and the me clean up character. this mess. Kind of like uh, Stanley Spadowski. <laughs> Have no fear, Toxie's here. Let go of her, you creep! Oh, thank you, Toxie. You're welcome, sweetheart. Now please step aside. A battle against evil is no place for a little girl. Whoa. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm having a ball! <laughs> Whoa. 
everything explodes when it gets hit. Excuse me, I need hit. this vehicle to fight evil. Tell our home viewers what just happened here. I'm not sure, but I think my new boyfriend talks to like us more. We I'm understand up. your name is Melvin Junko. My new more. boyfriend? From now on, my name is Toxie, and I'm a crusader against pollution, crime, and other stuff. So I guess we could call you the Toxie Crusader. Hey, yeah, I'd like that. The Toxic Crusader. This Toxic Crusader must be eradicated. Like the Crusades. Oh, my Christianity. Christ. The world will be destroyed. Let me take care of the Toxic Crusader. Why should I give you the pleasure of killing him? Because he did this to me. All right, then. I think so we got his origin story, too. Right. You had this no guy? No sweat. Josh, you can say here. goodbye to the Dead. Toxic Crusader. Pretty cool, punk rocker. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, Toxic Crusader, get ready to become the Crushed Crusader. I guess they wanted to differentiate between the Toxic Avenger. Yeah. So, uh -oh. they, so kids didn't I accidentally that rent that? Feeling. I guess, maybe. Oh no, look out, little girl! <laughs> I like the character look model. Out. Little girl. Are you okay, Toxie? Actually, I'm feeling a little run down. He's moving in for the kill. <laughs> this is the end it's of tough. the Toxic Crusader. I don't know, Dr. Killamoff. What if old Toxie jumps out of the way and defeats Bonehead with his super-powered mob? That would be ridiculous! Tom, Tom, Michael J. Pollard, great voice actor. <laughs> I like the soundtrack, right? Oh, and has been defeated by the Toxic Crusader's cursed mop. How old you saw? What did you say? Nothing. I will have to put an end to this Toxic Crusader myself. Every wall is a fourth wall here. Yeah. Can I but help you? Say your prayers, Toxic Crusader. Why? Am I going to bed now? No, you are going to die for standing in the way of my plans to pollute Tromaville. But why do you want to pollute Tromaville? What good does it do anybody to poison the environment? I've always wondered that myself. <laughs> it may We're be all poison that. to humans, but not to the people of my planet, Smogula. Oh, man. I'm working wow. for a cockroach? For the smogulans to take over the cock I like how he said the air and water must be first poisoned to our liking. But if you poison our planet, as if we can't do it ourselves, then all human and animal life will die. What's your point? Oh, I'm definitely in the presence of some big time evil. My point is this, Bughead. This is up. my planet even though I don't look like I'm from it. And this is my town, which means it's my job to keep it safe, beautiful, and free from pollution. <laughs> then prepare to die, Toxic Crusader. Apocalypse now! Apocalypse now? I sure could use some help. Excuse me, but uh, me and my friend are looking for a hideously deformed creature named Toxie. Have you seen him? He's up there. Oh, yeah, that's him. Tonight. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you fools, get him! I hate this part. <laughs> it's cleanup time! I've said that during a lot of shadow. <laughs> Hey, my name's No Zone. This is my friend Major Disaster. We're both hideously deformed creatures with superhuman size and strength. <laughs> really? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, we know. We saw you on TV and wanted to come join you. Well, I have to warn you, it's a tough job. There's no general plan, and we don't get any piece of the merchandising. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> we just want to fight bad guys. No zone. Great. You're hired. What's Major Disaster doing? Uh, he has the power to control plants. It takes him a few seconds to get going, though. 
<laughs> I like how that's flying. Oh, he has some power. Hey, what's going on? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. hey, that's a cool superpower. Release Pluto. <laughs> Uh, look! It's some kind of living oil slick! Ma, come back! Ma hates a mess. Oh no! That thing ate my mom! What do we do now? I've got an idea. Follow me! Kitty litter? What are we doing with kitty litter? Toxie, we're not fighting Heathcliff. Trust me, just empty the kitty litter onto the ground. Now, no zone. Aim your schnozola at that thing and use your sneeze power. What did he put on you the tie? You got it, buddy. It's a continuity error. Ah, uh, I see. I like the tie. Uh, 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 did you say you had notes on the action figure? Oh, the kitty yeah. litter is drying Good up one. the oil slick. Oh, Mop, oh, no. are you okay? This can't be happening! You can learn for those other two hideously deaf old creatures helping the toxic crusader. I would have defeated him! I told you so. Ah! You saved Tromaville. I'm just doing my part to keep Tromaville beautiful, safe, and free from pollution. Gee, what an amazing coincidence. Lucky for us, we were all hideously deformed. Because now we're the Toxic Crusaders. Sounds like a good name for a TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's a chance that the, uh, the tie... Is, was introduced at part of the like five minutes, ten minutes I cut out. Oh, that's fine. I um, just I like. No, I know. I just I'm not saying it for you. I'm saying it for the toxic crusader expert in the chat right now, who's yes. slamming his fists against the keyboard in fury. I'm Can sorry. I, yeah. Yeah. Can I share a couple quick things? So Michael J. Yeah. Pollard. As soon as I looked him up, I recognized him. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think folks will. He's been in a ton of stuff, like you were saying, mm -hmm. character actor, but great voice for cartoons. And also, one PSA that wasn't in there, I think we might have shown this before in the uh, the commercial segment, but I remember Alf had a, and I know Josh is a huge Alf fan, so um, he had a commercial or a PSA where you could call in, and it was like, uh, you could get his autographed photo and a bunch of pamphlets about the environment. And I sent in, because it was free, and got this in the mail. And for a while, I wow. thought this was a real autograph. Did you get one of these, Josh? The, Wait, uh, you're saying it's it's not real? Oh, sorry. Are you just finding this yeah. out now <laughs> this, that this was pre-printed? Man, I thought sorry. it was real, dude. You know, hey, you were still a special human, but so was I. That's all. We're special. We're very special. Yeah. So anyway, just had to include a, I had to shoehorn Alpha in here because I know we uh, skipped the Alpha Thon uh, this September. Right. Well, that counts. I think that. Yeah. Okay. Good. That, that's Alpha Thon three. So, so, so we, we, we liked, liked it. it. We, we loved, loved it. it. <laughs> My mop gives it a thumb thumbs up. Two mops up. Two mops okay. up. Well, we're going to play a very brief game. Um, it is about toxic toys, or as they said in. Uh, um, 1920s Brooklyn Twixic. <laughs> That's uh, yep. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to show you a toy, and you tell me what the toxins involved, what you think the toxins involved were. So this is 2007, the CSI TV show fingerprint examination kit. Why do you think uh, there was? What do you think was toxic in this? What are your guesses? The powder. I, uh, yeah, I was going to say the powder. I often see this at Goodwills too. Um, yeah, I'm going to say it's the dusting powder. That's you guys are both correct. The uh, asbestos uh, <laughs> asbestos was in, was found in some samples. Oh boy. Okay, so you're off to a great start. Um, let's go to 1985. Voltron. What was There's what was lead. toxic with Voltron? There's lead in Voltron, right? Ooh, lead's a good guess because there did some metallic. Yeah, I'm gonna say the plastic gave off microplastics. Um. I don't think they. I think that we were still in the macroplastic age back mm. then, Nick. But Josh, you you totally nailed it. Uh, the um, 
<laughs> Voltron Lion Toys. Oh my god. together form Voltron. A million. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they all found their way back and nobody licked it. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's not then... like they were handling their Voltron and then eating no. sandwiches or anything. No, know? no. All right. So do you do remember that? Super Elastic Bubble Plastic? Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like kids thought this was bubble gum and they they ate it. And then, and the yeah, and there's arsenic them. in it. Yeah. Right. So they're, they're, they still... Um, in different forms it still exists, but this was always these tiny little bottles at the checkout counter at the toy store. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they I got were, those. They were delicious. Yeah. There was mm -hmm. this and like a pack of snakes that you'd light on fire. Mm, both really uh, delicious. Yeah. And, uh, Super elastic bubble plastic. That's right, plastic bubbles from a tube. Just squeeze it out and blow it up. They're beautiful. Yeah, so e even now they're being it's being recalled, but it should have <laughs> been recalled back then because it has several components acetone, acetate. All sorts of things. And I believe they're, they're, uh, oh, leukemia, I think. Oh, it's God. Something that, so, yeah. So don't get super elastic bubble plastic. Okay. Uh, again, a little tip from your friends at Saturday morning. Uh, finally, we have the, uh, 1950 Atomic Energy Lab. What do you think is, uh, toxic about this? I mean, is there ra radioactive particles in this? Uh, I want to say lead again, but I don't know if you can, like, it would be if it was a curveball or um, might be some kind of acid in there. Well, uh, I think you guys tied here because uh, in this game, because Nick, you're right. There was uh, there was the worst samples of uranium in it that yeah, technically were safe when handled. Family. But when you, you know, when the kid inevitably unscrewed it, right? Uh, it's uranium 235. Oh. Um, and that is how you play the game twigs it that was fun i i uh we tied on that i feel super happy or as my clearly printed emoji would show you uh that's a happy face i think so it looks happy to me it looks delicious yeah. all right yeah nice well did job. you guys learn anything I learned that Josh uh, has those toys that I'm super envious. I want some Toxie toys. Yeah, the Toxie toys are awesome. And they have so much Toxic Crusader stuff out there. And oh. um, like, a, you know, as George brought up earlier, I mean, like, there's like Toxic Crusader flip flops and like <laughs> flip flops. Yeah. And, and like, there's, they're doing new stuff now. They're like Toxic Crusader shorts, shirts, hats, shoes. I have a pair of shoes that was produced by a company called Big Herc and hmm. there's new like contemporary toxic crusader shoes yeah i have them or no wow. i traded them recently but i had them for a while wow well i think we're in a toxic sense because the new movie's coming out maybe the cartoon will come back too well i think i've learned a lesson for all of us here the toxic crusaders cartoon offers a warning it's no secret that we all live in a toxic society trapped in toxic relationships stuck at toxic workplaces fighting toxic masculinity, or just listening to System of Down's toxicity. But remember, this is nothing new for humanity. We've always been poisoning ourselves through our activities, whether by our venomous industries, our pernicious interpersonal and national interactions, and even our own deleterious individual behaviors. Since mankind's beginning, we've been living downstream from our own filth, figurative and literal. We are, tragically perhaps, a hardy species, strong enough to suffocate ourselves under a mutagenic pile of our own waste products, only to crawl out to build a newer, bigger, and more noxious mound, just to do it all over again. So take heart, no matter your circumstances, your own, your family, your community, your country, your planet, there's a good chance we're going to make it through, whether we deserve to or not. And that's why I always say, the more you battle is twice the knowing. Some hope, some hope at the end of that lesson. I, I like just it. beautiful, just beautiful. And, and speaking of beautiful, so is New Jersey. Everyone should go visit. It's actually a lovely mm -hmm. place. So yeah, go gotcha. South Jersey. Go, you know, that's where I'm from. It's, it's pretty out there. I love Ocean City. I love South Jersey. I love all Jersey except for certain certain pockets. Except for the parts Jersey. I hate. I love. Yeah, Jersey. except for the. <laughs> um, Josh, I know Lunch Meat is putting out Chop and Steel on on VHS in limited quantities, but what else has Lunch Meat got going on? Oh, all kinds of stuff, man. So, uh, more VHS releases, as you might expect. Uh, I told you that I'm working on a joke book. 
right? Yeah, it's a VHS joke book. This is the best idea I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it's called Home Video Humor, 101 Rewind Incline Funnies. Uh, so they're like a throwback to uh, the old Scholastic 101 joke books. Um, completely corny, ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun to put together. Um, Can you give us one? Can you give us like a, I don't want to, you know. Don't sure. Uh, why did the VCR quit its job? I don't know. Why did the VCR quit its job? It just couldn't tape it anymore. <laughs> See, wow. and you got a hundred more of those. So yeah. books all I don't know if they're all that caliber, but you know, some are better, some are worse, but they're all there. Um, 101. What else? Uh, we're going to be putting out an original novel sometime in the next six months. Oh, or so. I haven't heard of that. That's cool. One of our staff writers, um, Rob Freeze, is he wrote an original story. Uh, about two vi- two warring video stores in the eighties, which nice. I'm surprised that was never like an eighties comedy that came out on tape, you know. And it um, should have been like, or it could even be like a contemporary thing with like Will Ferrell and Jack Black as two competing video store managers, you know. I don't know, but it's, it's got idea. like it's got Animal House, the wildlife kind of coming of age kind of feel, you know. And um, it's nice. really a lot of fun. We're very excited about it. Um, you know, stuck on VHS. The book will be coming back in 2024. Got some events coming up. You got some local stuff and and where I'm at in Raleigh. Um, Ted's oh yeah, tell people through. October 10th is that when you're doing a show there in Raleigh? Uh yeah, Somewhere I'll be there. there. Okay, I'm be playing some tapes, playing some Halloween tapes to warm up for Terror Tuesday for them. You know, fantastic. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. We're going to be bringing Skin and Rink back for uh, Black Friday, and I know people really want that. That's really exciting, but. Yeah, Chop and Steel, we're doing your, your movie. That's awesome. I'm dude. excited. And, uh, of course, go to the link in the description of this video for all things Lunch Meat. Uh, as always, a pleasure having you on and uh, representing New Jersey well in the uh, uh, Toxic Crusader cartoon. Thank you. That means a lot. Thanks. I- I'm happy to represent South Jersey, and um, I got my South Jersey pride, dear. But <laughs> I have. you did ask me to bring some stuff. Yeah, uh, I only have a few things. I don't take up too much time. No, let's see. I didn't realize you had. I'm going to try this joke set. I don't think it's going to work, but I think it was clear that you <laughs> wanted to see some more translucent tapes. Yes. And uh, I didn't want you to get red and angry with me. Oh, you know? look at that beauty. Yeah, right there. And then uh, for Toxy, I thought I'd make you green with envy oh i am okay but you know i gotta end it with aren't you glad you're my friend (laughs) and we can have times like this i sure am wow (laughs) those are stunning shocking and shocking yes i made that up in my head 45 (laughs) seconds before we did that because i was looking at the colors so if it's horrible that's why those are the best tapes i've ever seen incredible well, from, from a bunch of horribly deformed hosts, happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday. Get happy well, Joe. Happy Saturday.